Hello everyone, it's me, Rich Ben. Look what we're working on today. A Volkswagen 1600 dual port air-cooled engine. Now this particular engine still has the points and condenser in the distributor. So today, we are going to replace that distributor with one with an electronic ignition in it. Should make it run better, start better. Let's go over to the bench, take a look and see what it looks like. Here is the kit we're going to be using. It is a 009 style distributor with the electronic ignition mounted inside. Yeah, that definitely looks like an 009. Take the rotor off, we got it. And underneath here, there it is. Electronic ignition. And they have some nice directions in here to help you out. So what we're going to do is we're going to either steal a clamp that we need for it from one of these distributors or the one that's on there. Now the first thing we're going to do before we take our distributor out is we want to make sure that we're at top dead center. And here's the mark lined up with the center of the case. So. Our engine is at top dead center. Now we can take out our distributor. Right, let's take off the wire to the coil there. What's great about these air cooled engines is that once you loosen the 13 millimeter nut that secures the distributor down to the engine your timing is not affected so we got a 13 millimeter nut There it is. Now, there should be a washer on there. And that's difficult to get off. I'll show you what I like to do to that washer. I like to pull up on the distributor just a little bit. And then I can grab the washer. A little wave washer. Volkswagen Affiliado. You've seen a lot of those wave washers. There's our distributor. We don't want to loosen the clamp right there. Once you do that, then your timing is all out of whack. So we can put this one right back in and it should be running again if we want to. I've taken a clamp off of one of my spare distributors here. And we're going to transfer that over to the new one. And the first thing we want to do is make sure we oil or grease that o-ring. Help us to slip the clamp on, plus when we put it in the engine that will help us to uh, install it.
Okay, we'll hold it against the body like that. And we won't tighten it too tight. Just enough to hold it in place. The directions on this distributor state that the coil needs to be above 3 ohms. So let's check this Bosch blue coil here and make sure that it's good. Alright, what do we got? We got 3.4 okay before we put the distributor in we want to check how the drive is oriented okay shorter side to the front all right now help us to Get the distributor in. Alright, so that's to the front like this. Okay, it's engaged. Now it's very important that we get the wires from the distributor onto the coil correctly. We need to put the black wire to the negative connection on the coil. That's where the green wire came from, and the red wire, of course, goes to the positive side of the coil. Alright, let's fire it up, see what happens. Okay, she's off a little bit. So we got to turn the distributor. All right, let's see if that's an improvement. Okay, that's right where we need to be. She should run fine there. The electronic ignition is working really good. The old bug plow hasn't run this good in a long time. Alright guys, thanks for watching.